the Bible says, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Here the Lord is talking about his second coming. He's talking about his blessed reunion with his wayward nation when he marries Israel again, makes that new covenant, and they enter into that millennial kingdom. And in the previous verse, the Lord talks about singing over his people, rejoicing over his people. And here he says, I will gather them that are sorrowful. God will bring all those together who have been sorrowing and mourning and give them joy and gladness. In the following verse, he says, I will undo all that afflict thee. Doctrinally, these are great promises to the nation of Israel that will be hunted and hated in the great tribulation time and yet will rejoice and shout for joy when she enters into her promises with her Messiah. But you and I today can take great spiritual truths from this, that though weeping may endure for a night, joy cometh in the morning, that though we may have tribulation in this world, we can be of good cheer because our Savior overcame the world. And when Jesus Christ comes back for us, the joy he gives us, no man will be able to take from us. So we may sorrow now, but we don't sorrow as those that have no hope. There is coming a day when the Lord will gather them that are sorrowful. And at the end of the verse it says, to whom the reproach of it was a burden, because you won't be a burden anymore. There won't be burdens anymore. There won't be affliction anymore when Jesus comes. Let us look for that day. Let us long for that day. Let us love his appearing that we may receive that crown of righteousness and rejoice when our blessed Savior comes for us.